Hey friends, my name is Antonisha and I'm a staff writer here at the Daily Grace Co. Have you ever struggled to make and maintain godly friendships that are meaningful and impactful? You're not alone. Sometimes making friends can be hard. If you've moved to a new place or started a new job or you're attending a new church, getting to know people may seem challenging. Even if you've managed to make friends, you may have struggled to keep them. Conflicts and friendships can arise, making it feel easier to bail on the friendship rather than work through healthy conflict resolution. If you need help figuring out what friendships should look like when you're searching for and keeping friends, I want to give you three elements of a godly friendship. Number one, loyalty. Proverbs 3, 3 and 4 reminds us of the importance of loyalty and faithfulness. If we want to make friendships that are fruitful and lasting, we have to practice loyalty. Being a loyal friend means choosing to stay by someone's side regardless of what they can or cannot do for you. Loyalty does not mean making a blind decision to support someone even when they're wrong or allowing someone to treat you like a doormat. However, loyalty is a determination to be the friend you want others to be for you. Because of God's loyalty to us, he sent Jesus as an act of unmerited, divine faithfulness. Jesus displayed loyalty to his father and to us when he was obedient to death on a cross. Like Jesus, we can practice loyalty in our relationships with our friends. Number two, vulnerability. Godly friends practice vulnerability with one another. Vulnerability requires both that you are willing to listen to your friends and the willingness to allow them to listen to you. One of the most effective ways for believers to practice vulnerability is to confess sin. James 5.16 tells us to confess our sin to one another and to pray for one another. Jesus, even though he was without sin, still practiced vulnerability. In the Garden of Gethsemane, Jesus endured agony until his sweat turned to blood. He didn't try to hide his anguish from his disciples. Jesus' vulnerability gives us the freedom to live openly before him and before others without shame. Resist the temptation to keep your friendships at a surface level. Be willing to practice vulnerability with your friends. And number three, humility. Luke 5, 27 through 31 tells us a story about how Jesus chose to dine with a man whose society didn't respect very much. If we're honest with ourselves, we have high criteria for friends too. We would rather spend our time with people who only like what we like, talk how we talk, look how we look. But God is not like this. Godly friendships are not like this. Jesus chose to befriend those who were poor, different, or had a complicated past. People like you and me. If Jesus, who is God incarnate, can humble himself and befriend sinners like us, we can choose humility and choose to make friends with all kinds of people, not just people who are the same as us. What other elements of a godly friendship come to mind when you meditate on scripture? Tell us in the comments below. And if you're looking for more resources on godly friendships, Check out our study, Craving Community, how the gospel helps you cultivate faithful friendships. See you next time, friends.